Welcome to Velocity's Math, episode number one. Today we're going to focus on mathematically understanding the effect of minions in early level skirmishes. Before we dig too much into it, it's important to remember the basics. There are four types of minions. Melee minions, caster minions, siege minions, and super minions. Today we're going to be focusing primarily on melee and caster minions, as they're the ones that will be present in early level skirmishes. Minions spawn in waves, consisting of three melee and three caster minions. They start spawning at a minute 30, and they spawn for every 30 seconds after. It's important to keep in mind how minions prioritize their target. There's a seven step series they follow, starting with the opponent's champion attacking a teammate's champion and working its way down the page. For today's episode, we're primarily going to be focusing on number one, that if you're attacking an opponent's champion, then their, your opponent's minions will target and attack you. For today's example, we're going to look at a level two skirmish between Lulu and Caitlyn versus Misfortune and Sona. For the sake of this example, we'll consider that the 80 carries are using the ever so typical 21, 5, and 4 masteries while using the quintessences of attack damage, marks of attack damage, seals of armor, and glyphs of scaling MR. While the supports are running the consistent 0, 13, and 17 masteries and running quintessences of gold, marks of armor, seals of mana regen, and glyphs of magic resist. For this example, we'll consider Caitlyn starting with the Doran's Blade, Misfortune starting with the Longsword and Double Pots, and both support starting with the Fairy Charm, Double Pots, Double Wards, and a Vision Ward. Now we'll take a look at the level 2 stats for all these champions, keeping in mind that keeping in mind the items, runes, and masteries that we just talked about before. Caitlyn has an HP of 642 at level 2 and an armor of 32.69. Lulu has an HP of 621 and armor of 29.59. Misfortune an HP of 617 and an armor of 33.69. Sona has an HP of 522 and an armor of 25.79. Now we're going to take a deeper look at the math behind melee minions and caster minions. Melee minions have an attack damage of 12 and attack speed of 1.250. So if we take their attack damage divided by their attack speed, we get a total DPS of 9.6. Now onto the caster minions. They have an attack damage of 25 and attack speed of 0.670. So if we take their attack damage divided by their attack speed, we get a DPS right about 37.31. So for this example, for this level 2 skirmish, we're going to act like Caitlyn and Lulu went into their opponent's minion wave to try and kill Misfortune and Sona. So remember the minion wave consists of 3 melee and 3 caster minions. So the 3 melee minions, each dealing about 9.6 DPS, if we multiply that by the 3 minions present, that's a total of 28.8 DPS. For the three caster minions, each dealing a DPS of about 37.31. If we multiply that by the three minions present, they're dealing a damage of about 111.93 damage per second. So in total, the minion wave is dealing about 140.73 DPS. For the calculations, it's important to remember the armor, as the armor will slightly reduce the incoming damage these champions take. To find, the, to find the armor damage reduction, you take 100 divided by 100 plus the armor, and that'll give you the percent damage reduction. So for Caitlyn, we take the 100 divided by the 100 plus 32.69, her current armor at level 2. That gives you 0.75 incoming damage or 25% damage reduction. For Lulu, we do the 100 divided by the 100 plus 29.59, and that gives you the 0.77 incoming damage or about 23% damage reduction. So the total damage taken per second, if we look at Caitlyn, the 140.73 damage done by the minion wave per second and multiply that by the 0.75, she's taking about 105.55 damage per second. Lulu, if we take the 140.73 and multiply that by the 0.77, Lulu's taking about 108.36 damage per second. So now to take the math a little bit further, if we look at Caitlyn's level 2 health of 642 divided by the damage per second she takes from the minion wave, she can only survive taking damage from the minion wave for about 6 seconds. If we look at Lulu, starting with an HP of 621, and divide that by the damage he takes from the minion wave, he only can last for about 5.75 seconds. And remember, minion waves dealing 140.73 damage per second, while at level 2 with the runes and masteries and item build we talked about before, Misfortune's dealing an auto attack damage per second of about 59.48. So if we take the minion wave DPS divided by the misfortune DPS, we get to about 2.37. So in result, the minion waves are dealing about 237% of the DPS that misfortune is dealing with auto attacks. So in result, minions hurt. It's very important that we carefully pick engagements, really know when to go all in. It's also important to utilize bushes to your advantage. 
going into the bushes can get you out of range of the minions and avoid damage. Please stay look forward to future episodes of Velocity's Math, and if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe button.